A powerful documentary about a boxer's struggle to stay alive, not from a brutal matchup, but from drug abuse. Take a listen. I do fight everything, every ounce of me that needs to be left in there before I lose. For me, it's a matter of life and death. I died three times. I died once on the floor in front of my mother. Very powerful stuff here. Taylor Machine Gun Doer is a Royal Oak native fighting his way to a national boxing title while trying to recover from his addiction. He joins us now along with Michigan filmmaker Mike Ramsdell. Thank you both for joining us today. Thank you for having us. I will start with you. It takes a lot of courage to put your story out there. Why was that something you wanted to do? Uh, I think it's a part of my recovery. It's embedded in me um, to carry a message to other addicts and alcoholics. And Mike had approached me uh, around 2018 and you know, came up with the idea of maybe we should do a documentary, kind of following you know, my career in boxing, as well as you know, obviously highlighting my addiction. Um, and I said, yeah, let's do it. And a part of it too was also the destigmatization because mm -hmm. we look at you, you're an athlete, you're in peak physical form, yet you're struggling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, the biggest part is that a lot of people in society today don't understand. I mean, they, they, they look at addicts as maybe weak people or somebody on eight mile with a sign, you know. But when you see me, it kind of changes that perspective and that, that dynamic a little bit. And how did you both connect? That's an interesting story. We trained at the same gym. So you were doing jujitsu? Yeah, it was a mixed martial arts gym. So Taylor, fortunately, was not. Uh, I didn't have to box him, so it was a lot easier for good me. Good for you. Yes, yes. Martin, we're all better good. for that. We all must just have a lot more brain cells because of that. <laughs> what was the process like? I mean, I love documentaries. I love that longer format, being able to really tell a story. What was that like for you, kind of working together, sharing his story? So Follow Docs is a really specific form of documentary filmmaking okay. where you have to have a protagonist or a subject that is willing to literally just open their life up to the cameras, which Taylor was willing to do, which takes a huge amount of courage nice. and God bless him for it. Um, and then literally it's, you know, we were, we were friends before it, but you become incredibly close in this kind of situation. He has to trust me completely mm -hmm. and I have to dig into parts of his life that maybe he, you know, could be painful. They can be painful. Yeah. And, and then, but then you're also, what's, what's the beautiful part of it and why I love it and why I continue to do it and will continue to do it till the day I die is that there's this energy that starts to happen where, you know, this whole thing takes on a life of its own and then you are almost, are we making the documentary? Is documentary yeah. making us? There's yeah. a great phrase of, yeah. in a feature film, the director is God, in a documentary, God is the director. And so you just... I've never heard that, and I love it. I heard it the other day, and I loved it, too. So now, now, whoever else has I'm heard gonna it. I'm going to run with that. Yes. Was there anything that surprised you about the process while you're going through recovery and you're overcoming these things for yourself? You're also working on this project. Was there anything? During, during the filming of yeah. the documentary, there, yeah, there were a lot of twists and turns. Um, when we first sat down, uh, we kind of are... I projected that maybe I would get a title shot within a year and a half, two years of that day. Um, but it turned out to be manifested much sooner. And I initially had a, uh, a bout scheduled for the state title and the opponent got injured. Mm. So we thought the whole documentary was, you know, and sure. I, I went crazy. But then a week later, we got a national title offer. And that's what the documentary follows. So it was like everything thrown at me really quickly, you know. Um, so there was, yeah, there was definitely a lot of twists and turns. And I don't think there could have been a perfect, more perfect timing. And, you know, I love that saying, too. It's like we had no control over it. Right, it was just, yes. We were witnessing our own what was happening. So. Well, your story is so inspiring. And I know folks who are going to watch this documentary and hear from you, you are going to create real change. And thank you for your courage thank in you. sharing your story. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you both for being with us thank in studio this morning. We will be right back.